Indiana James here at the Summer Market Or. And in 2012, this, this summer market is going to feature a lot of new products, including some of our friends' new products. We're going to check that out. We're also going to take you on a ride down the North Fork of the Payette. Uh, we're going to show, Emily's going to show you how to do wave wheel. And we're going to follow the life and times of Drew Gregory in, in Hood River, Oregon. And we're going to look at some sup, 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 sup on the middle Povo with uh, Nick and Hobie. Wait a minute. What, what are those guys doing on SUPS? Anyways, we're at the OR Summer Market Show for JKTV. This is awesome, I'm at OR. I'm at OR. I'm good. Hi, Indiana James here, and we're here with Nicholas Trout, 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 Troutman. Troutman, uh, here at the OR Show 2013, and we're going to look at some whitewater boats today. Nick, what do we got? Well, new for uh, 2013, we've got the Karma. Really excited about this boat. This is designed off of a highly successful Zen series. Um, it really is what I like to call the creek ready version of the Zen series. A similar hull to that Zen, really fast. You've got that nice rail on here for that good car and zippy feeling. But you've got a lot more rocker and a lot more volume on there uh, to keep you afloat and drive over all the waves, holes, steep creek things that you're going to get out there. So this thing's ready for the steeps, waterfalls, and big water volume. We actually took this prototype down the North Fork of the Payette. Check it out right now. First time sitting in the morning here. Should be a good day. I've got a friend who's got a fortune on his plate. God damn, he knows just how to talk and how to take. Oh, but the problem about winning evermore is in the end, it's only. Surf launches, you probably know about that. Okay, maybe not. 
you still have the rod tip protector up front. We made a little slight improvement. Now you can stick your paddle right underneath here, real nice and easy with this lip. When you're fighting those big fish, you don't want the paddle in the way, obviously. So slide under there, no problem. The cool thing about the new Jackson boats this year, we now come have them coming GoPro and RAM enabled and RAM ready. So you have inserts built throughout the boat to put GoPros and RAM mounts. So it's really easy. No more drilling in your boat. Simple, simple, simple. So we also now have RAM rocket launcher rod holders that come standard on both the CUDAs. So for those saltwater guys, it's going to keep your rods up and out of the salt. Of course, if you're a freshwater guy and you're you know, tackling the mangroves, you can bend them down, put them whatever angle you want. It's so pretty sweet. Um, every boat comes with Nalgene as well, so we have another partnership with Nalgene. Made in America, by the way, just like our kayaks. That's pretty much it. Awesome, man. I heard you went to uh, Hood River, Oregon. I did. Yeah, we're going to Hood River. We're going to have a look at that in a couple seconds. Drew Gregory here. Welcome to another JKTV Lifestyle segment. This time you'll be joining me on a recent trip to Hood River, Oregon, where I find out why this is one of the best towns to live in if you're an outdoor enthusiast. To begin with, you'll be joining me on the Columbia River, where I got the chance to catch my first sturgeon. Tuna, so a little sturgeon, big tuna, but it's a fun fight fish, and uh, maybe we'll catch some more. Getting to catch my first sturgeon was amazing. It wasn't a monster by any means, but I'll take it. The next morning, a spring snow shower hit, and I just couldn't resist the temptation to go snowboarding on Mount Hood for a few runs. The next thing I wanted to do was actually run the Hood River. I teamed up with Isaac Miller, Derek Bell, and John Hart from the Kayak Shed. I'm here with Isaac Miller, Isaac the Nothing Miller. He's a very renowned kayak angler in the Northwest here. He's found something pretty cool and unique that he wants to show us. So Isaac, tell us a little bit about this creature. This is the Northwest's most toxic creature. Um, the fire belly newt, or so named by its belly. Nice bright orange. Yeah. Um, they secrete a toxin through their skin, um, which like I said, is the, one of the most toxic things in the Northwest. Right. Even more so than our native rattlesnakes. Well, we gotta get in the river. We have a cool trip ahead of us, so let's see what we can do. Thanks, man. Yeah. Woo! Well, that is a pudding. We're about to go float down the Hood River, hopefully catch uh, maybe some steelhead, Hit some big rapids, so this is exactly what the crew says for, and we're gonna find out. Well, it wasn't exactly steelhead season, but I still had a blast paddling the river and getting to see what the Northwest kayak fishing scene is really all about. All right, so we're at the Full Sail Brewery and Restaurant here in Hood River, Oregon, having a great time. The entire crew from Kayak Shed and Jackson Kayak, we're all here. It's great food, guys, right? Great beer, delicious. Absolutely. Good times here. Definitely gotta come to Hood River. Check this place out for sure. It's a unique place. And we'll head over here. Another new boat we've got for next year is the new 2013 All-Star Series. Um, again, designed off of our highly successful 2010 boat. 
but we've redesigned it. We've made it a little bit more user friendly for the beginner market by widening the knees and the whole boat, lengthening it a little bit and bringing down the center of gravity. So it's going to be a lot more stable for river running, for that kind of beginner uh, intermediate paddler, but also going to be the top freestyle boat out there with a lot more wedge shape up here for bigger loops, more volume in the stern, easier cartwheels, more balanced, and the best hull we've ever had. I mean, the hull speed on this thing is just outstanding. Um, so really excited for the 2013 boat. And as you can see, we've got GoPro mounts for, uh, for 2013. We're going to have GoPro ready boats for all of our Whitewater series. Really excited about that. And uh, Emily Jackson is going to go ahead and show you guys how to do, how to wave wheel in the new 2013 All-Star. So check it out here at the OR Show. And it's orange. Jackson, one of my favorite downriver moves is the wave wheel. The wave wheel is basically a free wheel off the peak of a wave. Now here are a couple key points to either help you with your current wave wheel or help you complete your very first one. Step one, gain some speed towards your wave. As you're coming up the face of the wave, you're going to want to start dropping your edge to whatever side you plan on completing the wave wheel. My personal preference is to go to the right. So as I'm coming up the face of the wave, I'll be dropping my right edge while planting a right forward stroke. This forward stroke will actually be continuing past my butt to allow me to use a double pump position. Once I've pulled up the face of the wave and I'm now breaking free of the peak, I'm gonna push down on that right blade as well as pushing on my toes to help get the boat underneath me. And the next step is to make sure that you flatten out that edge so that way you don't continue the cartwheel and fall over on your head. I've basically just done my, my first wave wheel. Hey everybody, Indiana here again. Today we're going to talk to the 7 foot 5 inch Hobie from Jackson Kayak and Hobie is going to bring to us uh, a, a great new line of product that Jackson Kayak's introducing thanks to him and Tony Lee. Tony Lee. Yeah, this is called, uh, we're, we got a couple of them. The first one is the Superficial, you get it, S-U-P-E-R-F-I-S-H-A-L. Da -da -da. Superficial. Uh, this thing is awesome. It's a craft that you can get out easily, quickly, and affordably onto the water and absolutely slay fish. I'll say it again, I'm talking slay fish. You stand on this thing, uh, very wide, very thick. This gives it a lot of stability. A uh, few things about it, it's roto-molded just like the kayaks are, which are proven for their durability. And we talk about afford affordability, it's less than a grand. We teamed up with the guys from RAM and put the RAM inserts in here so that you can screw in a variety of different Features, whether it be a pole holder, a fish finder, um, you can put in things. You know, I've got my net on here, your GPS, anything you can imagine, you can bolt on, and then when you don't want it at the end of the day, you can remove it. But uh, you can take a cooler along with you. This is kind of a cool feature with this. Uh, we have the Yeti cooler on here right now, but what you can do is use these back grab handles to strap a cooler down so you can take your beverage. This works in a couple of ways, and that number one, if I get tired of standing, I can sit down, I can tie my fly line. I can work, I can make a phone call, I can sunbathe. The other thing that I can do uh, for sight fishing, it's stable enough that I can jump up here and fish from the top. So this works really well. Like nine feet. Yeah, super tall and I can see really deep in the water. The other nice thing, if you have a cooler that has wheels on it, you can take the cooler, set it on the ground, load it up with beer, ice, whatnot, then put the board on top of the cooler, strap the board to the cooler, and now you have like a trolley. You can actually use the wheel of the cooler, grab the front of this thing, and wheel it. It's got storage in the back, and then of course on the very front of it, more storage. And rather than using bungees, which kind of just sort of I don't know, bounce around a little bit. We put cam straps on the front so you can really torque your gear down there, put your tent, your chair. You can actually bring along firewood, I think. <laughs> bring along the dog, anything you want. You can load up on this, get out there on the river, do it really easily, keep it in the bed of your truck, and you're fishing just like that. I think we've got more. Yeah, we've got more. We're going to talk about the supercharger next. We just finished the superficial, now we've got something else that's just as super, and it's orange. Toby, what's this? 
Uh, this is called the Supercharger. This is new for this year from Jackson Kayak. Uh, the Supercharger is a river specific whitewater board, but to be quite honest, you can take it anywhere. Although it's designed to be on the river, uh, you can take it in flat water. Anybody can stand on this. It's really stable and durable. Uh, but a couple key features that make it excel in whitewater, the construction we talked about, same thing as the whitewater boats, roto molded. This has a skin foam construction where it has that roto molded exterior, but on the inside, they actually inject foam into it to keep it stiffer. So like when you're going down and you're punching waves, unlike inflatables or some other crafts out there that give a little bit of flex, this has no give. And also unlike like composite boards that you ding it and you've got you know a lot of damage to it this thing you throw rocks at it and it's going to take the abuse uh, another couple of key features on it a shedding deck just like whitewater crafts when you have a shedding deck there's a little bit of a peak there when it goes through waves or holes it wants to resurface really quickly not only resurface quickly but clean actually come out like a watermelon seed another thing cam straps uh, instead of putting just bungees on there that they kind of stretch and wear out uh, everybody in the whitewater industry knows about cam straps. You put your gear under there and you torque it down so you don't get any movement. It's wider, it's also thicker. Aerated white water, uh, it's kind of soft, so you need something to keep you up in the surface. So the width gives it a lot of stability, the thickness gives it that girth so that it stays up on top of the river. And if you fall just on a hard plastic board, uh, you can take a few hits. So it's nice, it's almost like a crash pad out there. Multiple grab handles, there's five of them in total, front and back, two on the sides, one in the middle. If you fall off, it's easy to grab a handle and actually crawl your way back up or if the board flips over to grab a handle and flip it back over and climb back up. Uh, as you move through it on the back side it's got the tri-fin so you can put two fins in it so it's loose put the third fin in for surfing and thruster or put a big center fin in so it tracks perfectly if you're going out there and uh, just running flat water but we had the opportunity uh, a few days ago right here when we were doing the lake demo the day before Nick and I who is behind the camera right now yeah there he is if you could see him uh, we went out and we ran just a pretty basic stretch of river. Uh, I think it's called the Middle Fork of the Provo. Uh, just a class two stretch. Well, I hope to God you come around. You've been stuck in the same town. For far too long it sounds But I do suppose I've been the one To skip the coast of Oregon To trade my youth and wish I was young But I, I can't help but vocalize When I am met by youthful eyes Just what I've come to understand If life should leave you with regret It'll be for what you never did Not for what you've done Oh, don't you forget When the car comes gone It crack, crack, it makes that sound When the head To the cast of a doctor's frown When they call your name Stand proud So we're gonna go check out Emily Jackson. We're gonna talk about the new cruise dues. That's 12 in French. Coming up. We're here at OR and Jackson 
Kayaks introducing its new boat. It's a cruise. We base it off of the Cuda 12 Hall, but we softened it up a bit. It's a great intro boat and to recreational, out on the lake, out on the pond. If you look, it's still got a high-low seating like a lot of our recreational boats, so very comfortable on the water. We've got our day hash, and it's also really easy to accessorize this kayak, specifically for ram type uh, accessories for fishing and anything else you might want to do with this kayak. Whether you want to take it out on the lake, get started into kayak fishing, or just have a great time on the water with the family, the cruise is a great intro boat for you. Congratulations to Chris Smith. Dude, you and your Kusa, uh, the morning run has won the shot of the month for JKTV. Your shot is going to be featured on our Facebook page and on JKTV. And Damon Bungard, our product manager at Jackson Kayak, is going to show us a little bit more about the Kimball. Hi, this is David Bungard with Jackson Kayak. Let's have a quick look at our prototype of the new Kilroy. And the Kilroy is basically a, think of it as a sit inside Cuda 12. So all the best features of our sit on top kayaks, but down in a sit inside platform. So with, with a fully thermoform floor, you can get a standing platform, a seat bar, protected rod tip covers in the tubes, tackle storage on the side walls, high low seating, hull level storage behind the seats. You can see the rod is stored on the side. The neat thing about this boat too is we're gonna have different types of decks. A soft deck and a hard deck. So you can get all the same features. Fly patch, glove box. This will act, it'll be shaped for the deck. So there's a fly line landing zone, a place of sunshade for your feet, and a place to land a fish. This is the new Jackson Kai Kilroy prototype. Look for it in the fall 2012. That's JKTV for this month from OR, otherwise known as OR. See you next month.